Hey guys, today we'll be unlocking the post office, so to do that we need to finish this quest which is to collect 5 empty boxes. So to make the boxes we go here and we click craft after you collect all the materials. Then I craft my boxes. There you go, I have 5 boxes here and I'll turn them in. Now I also got this golden anvil and I can craft um, two things at once in my produce section so I can produce like chain link and butter hide at the same time but I like doubling up and like producing two of the same things at once which is pretty cool alright let's turn in this box turn in these boxes and get unlocked our pulse office we talk to this mailbox you did exactly what I told you to do I like that you're hired here's the rundown of the job Several shipping companies use my postal service to deliver orders to their customers. Since I'm stuck in here, it's your job to bring me the items to complete these orders. Completing orders will give you a delivery box tokens, which can be spent in the upgrade tab. Each of your characters gets a token, so spending them on one character won't remove them from other characters. Okay, so it's gonna you know, go through all my characters and I get these upgrade tokens. Every 24 hours, all completed orders will refresh and uncompleted ones will stay the same. Well, that's it. I gotta get back to my post. Get it? Post? Since I'm a post boy? Ah, uh, come on now. Don't try to hide your laughter. I can tell by the luck on your face. You found it. Funny. Anyway, then, get to fill those orders. Alright, so let's see what's up with this post office. Um, let me get my gems first. Okay, so this is hermit cans and I get one of these shipping box thingies and money and upgrade um, things for my tools interesting what are these pens I mean I don't have two of the pens in my inventory or in the inventory of my like chests and stuff so I got more orders here what are upgrades Oh, I can use these to upgrade stuff. Oh, I see. That's useful. Alright, let's do this first order then. The Hermit Cans. I need 102 of them. And let's see. That's about it. And I just tap the sign here. That's cool. I have a cool name. So that's done in 24 hours or 12 hours so we'll refresh and I have one of the boxes now one shipping unit and I can use to upgrade my stuff cool drop rate drop rarity interesting oh um, so I finished that quest so what is this quest bringing Bob's box Planet Express orders. Planet Express. I thought it would be related to one of these things here, but I guess not. Maybe you have to upgrade them first? But that doesn't make sense, does it? I mean, even if I upgrade them, which one should I upgrade? I feel like, let's just upgrade fighting. Plus one damage, wow. That's crazy. Yeah, so I don't know what to do with these boxes and how to finish this one. Planet Express orders. Okay. Well, let's switch to a different character. So I'm here on Tetragram 1. And I'm here to turn in this quest, which is catch the whale. To do this quest, I got a score of 47 in the fishing mini game, and I managed to catch the, catch the whale. So let's turn it in. The whale stares at you. He's too happy. No one must be done. So I basically killed the whale. Yeah, I killed the whale. Is there more? Oh, I guess that's it. I get. Electrical wiring. Interesting. And quest item. My great behemoth had emerged from its slumber and now roams the fishing main game. If you catch two whales, then purposely avoid catching them dirt. The ocean behemoth will eventually appear. Catch it to win a trophy. Oh. 
I don't think I'm that good at the game. Uh, you know what? Let me go to the gem shop. Go to buy some daily mini games, right? That's not such a bad use of my gems. Well, let's just play a bit of the fish mini game and hopefully we get lucky and catch the whale. So, we didn't get anything good from fishing, but you know what? We can always play the arcade and make ourselves happy from gambling. I'm disappointed in myself. But I know that tomorrow I'll come back with like 20 30 attempts and I'll grind it again until I try to get the whale. Oh, this ball is going pretty far, but it's bouncing to the right here. Oh, it reached that portal. Oh, another one reached that portal. Could be a purple one. Cool. That's cool. We have a dice as well. I'm getting pretty lucky on this one. Purple? Oh, it's bouncing this way. You know, you can bounce to the right side. Yeah, let's go to the right side. Go here. Honestly, I got two purple ones. I can't be too disappointed. Got a one. I think I need a six to six to play, yeah. Oh well. Let's see what we get from our shop. Let's upgrade. Let's get more shinies. I like that. And cash from mobs. Let's see what else we get from our loot. We got really, really resource coupon. And a golden food. Nice. What is this? A hundred bany logs? I guess I haven't unlocked that yet, but yeah, whatever that is. So I checked out the map and after the I'm at the walking sticks here and then I've unlocked the portal to go to the next section. I realized that the section after is where you get the vany logs. So let's check that out. I can also potentially finish this guy's quest, which is 500 sticks and 1,500 iron. I'll, I'll work on that. I have no more sticks at the moment. Actually, I think I do have 500 sticks. I could finish this quest. Let's see that after. Let's see what is on the next screen. Oh, we go up. I'm dumb. Go up here to this next portal. Get some acorns. Let's see our survivability. Is that a hundred percent? Cool. Let's let's try killing one of them. See what happens. What do we get? I imagine we get like some acorn drop. All right. It doesn't give us anything right now. But let's talk to get um. Cut this tree down. Probably where we get the vany logs. Is there someone we can talk to? Oh, there is. Let's talk to this other flower pot. Well, look who decided to show up. No, like, really, who are you? I've never seen you before. And why do people like you always keep bugging me on my off day, on my days off? If I wanted company, I wouldn't be all the way up here, would I? But no. Whenever I want some time to myself, another one of you humans show up looking for something to do. You know what? Here's something to do. Go make me a costume. So that I look like that little twerp sprout. That way when people do make it here, I'll pretend to be them. And since they've done their quest already, they won't bother me. I need some fibers from the forest, petals from Baby Yaga, and... Oh right, a little tiny stupid pea brain to really tie it all together. Ha ha ha. Help Daisy build a sprout costume. You don't actually need a pea brain. That was just her being a jerk. Well, that's not very nice. So what do you need for her quest? Um... Am I blind? Oh! A thousand forest fla fibers and... Five flowies? I wonder what that is. I don't think I can get that yet. What is this area? And how do I unlock it? 
Anyways, let's teleport back. And I'm gonna grab one of these. I'm also gonna grab... Actually, I don't need this. I want sticks, I need 500. And then I need iron ore. 1,500 iron ore. Alright, that should be everything. Let's go teleport and turn in our quest. But mommy said sticks and stones can't hurt me. So if I had all the sticks and stones, I'd be invincible. So we give them that. Now those mini bow beanie stick monsters are making fun of me for having a stick in a rock collection. But I won't give up. I have a super idea. If you can't beat them up in your underwear, it would be embarrassed to make fun of anyone. Defeat stick monsters with no clothes equipped, just a weapon. Wait, that's impossible. If I take off all my equipment, I have zero defense. What the heck? I mean, it's up 33 defense, but still. Wait. I. There's no way I still have 100 survivability. Right? I guess I do. Oh, interesting. I didn't know it was that strong. Dirty unclothed kills. Do these count? Do I need to take off my other equipment as well? I mean, if I take off all my equipment, I would have zero defense. Right? Like... 20, 21 defense? I guess I can equip food and still do it. It'll be fine. Okay, yeah, I need 30 unclothed kills. Yeah, this is doable. Now what do we get? An Adam's Leaf. That's 4 strength, 13 wisdom, and 2 defense. That's a pants item. Okay, cool. So, I'll AFK here for a moment, and once I'm done, I'll be right back. Alright, I got my 30 unclothed kills, so let's put our clothes back on. Alright, now that we're clothed again, let's talk to Sprout. Victory! Now I can go to the treetops to get my frisbee. Just gotta take it one step at a... Wait, oh no, 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 where did my legs go? Oh right, I never had legs, ha ha ha. Well, Daddy once told me that sometimes bodies grow because of what's around them. Maybe if I put shoes on, my body would grow legs and feet to fill them. Get a bunch of shoes for a sprout to try on. What does that entail? I need two iron boots, two goo galoshes, and two flip flops. And I get an MCR t shirt. What are goo galoshes? I don't think I've unlocked that yet. I mean, I can make the rest of the items, but goo galoshes. Mm, I imagine it might have to do like a slime, like a slime drop. If I kill enough slimes, maybe it'll drop like some type of thing for crafting these slime shoes. Yeah, um, I think that's about all for today. So please like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.